If I, if I didn't have any other rules, you would just hear the same things happening over and over again against one another. But in fact, in this, in this case, I've got three rules. One is that 14% of these notes, a random 14%, are going to be pitched down by three semitones. The second is that 41% of them are going to go an octave down, 12 mm -hmm. semitones. So can I just say, scientist. <laughs> right. I'd go further, quantum scientist. Because it's all about <laughs> probabilities here. Yeah. yeah, it's probabilities. And then this, this is a corrector, so that if, if any notes are produced that I don't want there, I mm -hmm. can correct with this. And in fact, so if it ever produces a B, which I don't want in the piece, it will turn it to an A. I'm, That's the, I'm not a musician, but can I ask why you don't want a B? In the piece, okay, is it, it clash with the key or something? Yeah, right. Yeah. So okay. these pieces are modal, in, so that means that they—it's like a raga, you know. It has a, a set of possibilities, right. which which uh, remain constant through the piece. So if I just um, start it a couple of times, and we'll see. Let's see what happens. Okay, now let me start it again. See if anything different happens. Okay. Okay. So the same difference. same thing playing each time. So does that mean the notes always happen at the same time, but they are different notes? In this case, they do. Right. But there, I'll show you in in this same piece. I've got other instances where the one of the changes is the notes shift right. as well. The position of the notes shift. Yeah. Um, oh well, there's actual computer code there as there's well. There's code as well. Yeah. So so these are all different types of scripters. So bouncing ball delay. That's a Delay that gets faster. That damp velocity above pitch. So that's a way of making high notes damp down. Um, various kinds of randomizer, velocitizer. That's the new one. Markov chain. Um, then there's a whole lot of others. Markov chain. That's very maths. Yeah. Well, I I like Markov chains. Um, Who doesn't? Repeater with fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Once I've set up a set of rules like this, I mean, as you can see, there are lots of instruments mm. here, lots of separate instruments. Um, I like that. Little wobbly stars, oh, that's echo a, bird that's release. That's a nice sound. <laughs> well, that's pretty. What I do is I, I get it running and then I sit in the other room and I write or I read or do whatever I'm doing and I'm listening all the time it's playing and then I'm thinking there's too much of that note, whatever that note is, or this is too dense or there's too much going on in yeah. the lower register or something like that. Yeah. Um, so then I come back in and I alter the rules a little bit.